Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we'll be talking about the pre draft workouts that the Wizards have had. I don't know why I said that weird. Shout out Quinn Mayo. That guy's a dog. Either way, he said Johnny Davis, Colin Galipsy, Kofi Coburn, Quinn Jackson, Keith Aluma. Keith Aluma, by the way, he's a Berlin, Maryland boy from the Eastern Shore. Shout out Marcus Bingham Jr. and Justin Bean. All worked out. Quinn Jackson supposedly stole the show. He killed it. Got tons of buckets. Tough ones. Supposedly Johnny Davis was just okay shooting, but he was good. Which I think Johnny Davis is someone that the Wizards are seriously considering. And Colin Galipsy was supposedly a dog. And that probably was on defense. I mean, I love Colin Galipsy. That guy is a beast. And I think for us, he could be a great undrafted free agent we could get. Because I do think he's going to go undrafted. By the way, Aluma, he played at VTech this past year after a few seasons at Wofford. And he he really didn't do much at Wofford and then kind of broke out VTech at this past year shooting, you know, shooting really well past two seasons at VTech. Either way, Quentin Jackson's another guy who, if you guys didn't follow him out of Texas and A A and M, he's a combo guard. Not, I would say more of a swing man. He's six five. Okay. And he's a guy who was a solid senior. And he's shown he can he has an all-around skill set and he can also handle the ball run some secondary playmaker as you know a secondary ball handler and he's not an exceptional athlete but he operates methodically and i think he's a guy that yes he's reluctant to take threes but he's a guy who definitely seems like he developed into a very good two-way player i really think that johnny davis kofi coburn and colin galipsy are the three guys that you really should be paying attention to from there colin galipsy we need point guard depth we really need a point guard johnny davis can also handle the rock too people forget about that so when I look at this, also Kofi Coburn, another great guy that we could acquire. We need big men. And the Wizards, we gave Daniel Gafford the money. But Kofi Coburn, if we got someone like him, would definitely help make moving Daniel Gafford a lot easier. In the sense, yes, it would be hard still to find someone to get his contract. Because I don't know if you guys remembered, we all thought that he had sport asthma. And that's why he could only play like 20 minutes a night. Literally, he gives you six solid minutes and then he starts fouling because he's out of breath. But then he admitted last year during training camp that he didn't have sport asthma. He was just out of shape. And he still had that problem this past year where he really couldn't play more than 21 minutes a night. Because every six minutes he started to foul. So you got to find somebody. Shout out the Los Angeles Clippers who would probably take Daniel Gafford. I honestly think they would. But... When you look at this team, Kobe Goburn would definitely help make him expendable and would be a great addition as the back. Because I think we're going to run Kristaps at the center position with Gafford backing him up. So if we can move Gafford's contract and money, Coburn, I definitely could see him here for three to four years being a perfect backup center as he develops and then gets his money later on. Al Kuzma is going to be our power forward. And I think when you look at this, Quinn Jackson is more, we need wing guys, we need guys to back up. Because I think... Rui Hachimura is going to back up Kuzma. Maybe sometimes he'll play the small forward, but I really think the small forward is going to be a rotation of Conte, Codwell, Pope, Corey Kesper, and Denny Aptia. Denny Aptia is going to be a dog this year. People are going to be shocked by him. Even I think there's a chance that they run Bradley Beal and Conte, Codwell, Pope at the backcourt if we don't get that much backcourt help this year in the draft, which I hope we go for. If Dyson Daniels falls to us, we have to get Dyson Daniels. If we're really in love with Ty Ty Washington, which we haven't heard, but we need a point guard. We could probably trade down, get some assets back, and still be able to get him. So, what am I taking from this? Colin Galipsy and Kopi Coburn. Don't be surprised if we try to get him in the second. I don't know what our second round pick situation looks like. I will be starting my second round pick, you know, series very soon. But, hey, that's definitely something I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think and your thoughts on all of this? But, yeah. NBA show tomorrow. It's going to be dope. I hope you guys peep it. I know it's a, this Friday is going to be tough on me just because we might have to record the show a little earlier or a little later because I got to go somewhere. I got to be there at like nine. So it's and I don't know how long this will take. So I really feel bad for our man, Jackson. He might have to wake up early. We might have to miss him, but. That's basically it for me today, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day. I was just got a job offer in Wisconsin. Definitely. 
if it's the best money probably will consider taking it 